Have you ever pondered the depth of Christ's love for us? How it transcends our understanding and fills us to the brim with his divine presence? In the tapestry of life, love is a thread that binds us all. It's a force that lifts us, sustains us, and connects us to one another. And the love of Christ? Well, it's the most powerful force of all. It's a love that is wide, long, high, and deep. It surpasses knowledge, engulfs our hearts, and fills us to the very brim with divine presence. As we journey together today, let us explore this profound love, a love so deep it transcends our comprehension. It's a love that is not based on our merits or what we can offer, but it's a love that is freely given because of who he is. It's a love that is patient, kind, and endlessly forgiving. In the midst of life's storms and calm seas, this love remains constant. It's a beacon of hope, a source of comfort, and a wellspring of joy. No matter how far we may stray, his love is always there, reaching out to us, ready to welcome us back into his embrace. As we navigate this conversation, let's draw from the wisdom of Scripture. The book of Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 14 to 21, paints a vivid picture of this love. It's a love so vast that it stretches to the farthest corners of the earth, and so deep that it reaches the darkest depths of our souls. This passage, however, is just a starting point, an introduction to the boundless love Christ has for us. As we delve into this topic, we will uncover more layers, more depth and more dimensions of his love. So, as we embark on this journey, prepare your hearts, open your minds, be ready for an encounter with the divine, an encounter that will leave you changed, transformed by the profound love of Christ. As we delve deeper into this topic, Prepare your hearts to be overwhelmed by the unfathomable love Christ has for you. In Ephesians 3.14 21, we find a prayer that marvelously encapsulates the magnitude of God's love for us. This passage begins with the Apostle Paul dropping to his knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. This is a testament to God's authority and sovereignty, that every family, every lineage traces its roots back to him, the creator of all. Paul then prays, for the Ephesians, and indeed for us to be strengthened with power through the Spirit in our inner being. It's a powerful plea for spiritual fortitude, a bolstering of our inner selves, not just our physical bodies. It's a call for the Spirit's power to reside within us, so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith. Next, Paul prays that we may have power, along with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp the extent of Christ's love, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep it is. This is a love that is all-encompassing, filling every corner of our existence. It's a love that stretches to the ends of the earth and reaches up to the heavens, a love as deep as the deepest ocean. Paul goes on to say that this love surpasses knowledge, that we might be filled with all the fullness of God. It's a love that transcends our human understanding, a love that fills us to the brim with God's own fullness. Finally, Paul concludes his prayer with a doxology, praising God who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. It's a reminder of God's limitless power and his boundless love for us. This prayer beautifully illustrates the depth, breadth and height of God's love, a love that surpasses our understanding. Experiencing God's love personally is a transformative encounter. When we open our hearts to the divine, we allow ourselves to be enveloped by a love that is beyond human comprehension. Let me share a few stories from those who have felt this powerful love and let it change their lives. There's a story of a man named John. John was once lost in the throes of addiction, unable to see a way out of his own destructive patterns. Yet in his darkest hour, he felt a warmth, a presence that he could only describe as divine love. This love sparked a change in him, a desire to leave behind his old life. Today, John is several years into recovery. He uses his story to help others battling addiction, showing them that they too are worthy of love and redemption. Then there's the tale of Sarah, a single mother of three, who often felt overwhelmed and alone. One day, she felt an inexplicable peace wash over her. She knew then that she wasn't alone, that God's love was with her. This realization gave her the strength to navigate the trials of life. 
Sarah now devotes her time to supporting other single parents, reminding them that they are loved and never alone. And let's not forget about Michael who experienced God's love in the midst of a life-threatening illness. In the face of fear and uncertainty, he found comfort and strength in his faith. He felt God's love in the prayers and support of his community. Now he shares his journey, inspiring others to find hope in their own struggles. Each of these individuals experienced God's love in their own unique way, and it transformed them. It motivated them to extend that same love to those around them, to serve others with kindness and compassion. These experiences serve as a testament to the power of God's love, inspiring us to live in its fullness. Let their stories remind us that no matter what we face, we are held in the embrace of a love so vast, so deep, so high and so wide, that it surpasses our understanding. And yet it is there, ever present, waiting for us to simply open our hearts and receive it. So, how do we live in the fullness of God's love? Well, it's like embarking on a journey, a journey into the very heart of the divine. This journey is not marked by miles or landmarks, but by moments of transformation and revelation. It's a journey that requires commitment and dedication, but the reward is beyond our wildest dreams. The first step is prayer. Prayer is our direct line to the divine, the bridge that connects our earthly existence with the heavenly realm. But prayer is not just about asking for things. It is an intimate conversation with God, a time to express our deepest thoughts, fears, hopes and dreams. It's about listening to, being still and quiet enough to hear God's voice speaking to our hearts. Next, we immerse ourselves in God's Word. The Bible is a treasure trove of wisdom, guidance and encouragement. It is the story of God's love for us, a love so deep and wide and high that it surpasses our understanding. As we read and meditate on His Word, we begin to grasp the magnitude of His love and we are changed by it. Then there's service. You see, God's love is not meant to be hoarded or kept to ourselves. It is meant to be shared. As we serve others, we become conduits of God's love, channels through which his love flows into the world. And as we give, we also receive. We experience the joy of seeing God's love in action, of being part of something bigger than ourselves. Lastly, we cultivate a heart of gratitude. We acknowledge the blessings we've received, the grace that has been bestowed upon us and the love that surrounds us. Gratitude opens our hearts to receive more of God's love, to see his hand in every aspect of our lives. As we make these practices a part of our daily lives, we open ourselves to experience the fullness of God's love. We become vessels filled to overflowing with his love, ready to pour out into a world in desperate need of it. This is how we live in the fullness of God's love. Are you ready to experience the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge? A love so profound, so deep and so wide, it transcends our human comprehension. It's a love that is always there, waiting for us to embrace it. A love that is not based on conditions or merits, but solely on His grace and mercy. Let's take a moment to invite this love into our lives. Close your eyes, if you may, and envision a world where love is the most abundant resource. A world where love is the language spoken by all, regardless of their differences. This is the world that God offers us through his love. Now, let this love touch your heart. Feel it seeping into your very being, filling every corner of your soul. Let it wash over you like a gentle wave, soothing your worries, healing your wounds, and rekindling your hope. This love is not a fleeting emotion, but a constant presence that is as reliable as the rising sun. No matter where you are in life, no matter the circumstances surrounding you, remember that God's love is always available. It doesn't discriminate, it doesn't judge, and it's not limited by time or distance. It is there, always reaching out to you, inviting you to take hold of it. So I invite you to pray. Ask God to reveal his love to you. Ask him to help you understand the depth, the width, the length and the height of his love. Ask him to fill you with the fullness of this love that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be empowered to do immeasurably more than you could ever ask or imagine. As we conclude, remember, the love of Christ is ever present, ever filling and ever transforming. Open your hearts to it and let it guide your life. 
Let it be your compass, your guiding light in the midst of life's storms. Let it be the strength that propels you forward, the peace that calms your spirit, and the joy that invigorates your soul. Let the love of Christ transform your life.